So since our last video, we've taken another long overnight bus all the way from Naypyidaw, the capital of Myanmar, all the way up to a little town just in the north of Inle Lake. And we've actually been here a day or two already, but Rob's actually not very well. I've had the flu. He, yesterday he was like really feverish and like weak and stuff, so we just stayed in and didn't really do anything. We like watched a movie and then just like took a short walk around the town. He's feeling a bit better today. A bit better. <laughs> a little bit. So we're gonna just hopefully go and rent some bikes and cycle to a winery because we feel like that shouldn't be too taxing but we'll see how the day goes so today we're gonna take it nice and easy so we've just gone into the town and we picked up some bicycles uh they were how much four thousand four thousand for two for two of them and uh they seem all right my brakes are a bit uh worse for wear but they generally are. I think it's about probably half an hour's cycle to get to the winery, so we'll make our way over there now. I always feel like super European whenever I put this hat on, but today we've been very sensible. We've both got our hats on. And Factor 50 sun cream. Factor 50 and bug spray, because we took so long this morning to get ready because Rob's feeling a bit blur. We actually remember to do all the things we're supposed to do for once. <laughs> Halfway, the scenery is lovely, but uh, I think the heat is getting to Robbie. Probably not really helping your illness. I'm struggling quite a lot. We're going at a mu very much a snail's pace, and still I'm really struggling. We just didn't want to have another day sat inside, did we? No, I just didn't want to lie in bed for another like six hours during the day. By the time we get there, we should be all right. Have a proper sit down, relax for a bit. Maybe don't have any wine. Yeah, I'm probably not going to have any wine. Maybe not even any food. My appetite's pretty off. Which is very highly unusual for Robbie. He eats like a dustbin. We'll just rest here a bit in the shade <coughs> and then we'll carry on. Sunday. Feeling, hun? I'm struggling quite a lot. I haven't thrown up, but I think I might see. He's got a fever as well. His fever's come back. I've offered for us to go back, but we're nearly there, right? So you want to carry on? Yeah. At least you can rest up when you get there. It's only about a kilometre. Back. We've just decided to pull our bikes because that seems a bit easier on Rob. Okay, we've made it. Rob's feeling even worse than earlier. Pushed through at the end and just made it up here. So we're just gonna find somewhere to settle down first and foremost, and then we'll worry about the wine. Well, I decided to do the wine tasting thing as we came all this way, uh, but Robbie's really not in a good way, so he's having a cooling Coca-Cola. This is the only thing that ever makes me feel better, just a fat Coke. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to try all of these. called Late Harvest is my favourite because it tasted like flowers and vanilla and it's really tasty. 
but this is probably the least enjoyable wine tasting I've ever done because I've just been like watching Rob slowly die next to me for like the entire time so it's not that fun. Not that it's his fault, I'm not blaming you, it's just a bit of a shame. So I think we're just going to head back to our place as soon as possible, get Rob rested up and then I might head out and get you some meds. So it's actually a real shame that I'm feeling so ill because the whole place here is so beautiful. Like, I was standing in the shade while Jenny was off getting some <laughs> video of the different vineyards and they've kind of landscaped some of the gardens and they've got these nice steps leading up here and it's just, it's like a really nice place to come visit. You do feel like you're in like Italy or something, it's lovely. Yeah, so unfortunately I am not feeling that well but I can still appreciate it a little bit. Rob's taken like five paracetamol which is why he's a bit perkier now. Yeah. At least it's downhill on the way back. How are you doing, Jen? I'm okay. How are you? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. marginally perky on the way home. We have stopped at a little cafe and we're having a banana juice and he's having a nice coffee and we're going to cool off again here before we return the bikes just so we can like, eat and stay out a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah? An amazing picture. You... So, considering we're in Myanmar that is really epic. It's quite spicy. Not very peanutty though. And the sauce I think is spicy as well. So yeah, it's not as peanutty as you'd normally like on a Saturday, but it's still very tasty. Okay, we've arrived home. We dropped off the bikes and then we just nipped to a pharmacy that was quite near our hotel. We bought some more paracetamol to keep Rob's fever down and a thermometer to monitor his temperature just so if the fever keeps carrying on and getting worse then we can track that. And just like some other drugs that we wanted to get because we were missing them from our little pack of drugs that we carry around with us. I think this might be the end of the video for today. We really tried to get out and explore a little bit, but I don't want to push Rob and he's not feeling well. So we're going to rest up and hopefully after a sleep tonight, he'll be feeling a bit better, but we'll, we'll let you know.